talk. Was your magic word? Please, please, please. Like I said in the former episode of my relocation vlog, we stayed over at my cousin's place, and this was the D Day, fifteenth February, twenty twenty four. So she was taking us to the airport. Like I said earlier on, to we travelled from Lagos, Mortala Mohammed Airport, Lagos, Nigeria. So as soon as we got to the airport, we passed the first security check that you know would normally scan your stuff and find out if there are things you shouldn't travel with. Then we proceeded to the parts where we would start measuring our luggage, even though we had measured it at home. That way it helped us to ensure that it doesn't pass the required kg for international flights. Is per person is 23 kg in two places and 7 kg carry on carry on luggage. That's the check-in luggage is you are entitled to two 23 kgs and a check-in check -in luggage that's one you can enter the plane with um is seven kg so yeah so we're trying to make sure that oh nothing was exceeding 23 kg to avoid extra luggage and that was what we did here after that we proceeded to wrapping our luggage and after wrapping our luggage we proceeded to join the queue where our luggage was now checked by an airport official the initial check was just like a general skill where you could go and do it yourself but this time around the airport official um checked it for us and you know he, he checked the first one checked the second one they were all in sync 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 i was like oh bro you guys are not stressful keep it moving and that's exactly what we did so we went to join the queue they checked our passports we got to a place where they checked our visa so we proceeded to other 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 places you know security checks immigration customs and the rest and finally we boarded the plane um before we even came into the plane our travel care packages were already on the seats the headphone the blankets the eye mask the ear plug um yeah pretty much every other thing that we need for traveling You unravel me with a melody You surround me with a song Of deliverance from my enemies Till all my fears are gone I'm no longer slave to fear For I am a child of God so at this point we had arrived qatar we went with qatar airways so naturally the drop off our connecting flight was from qatar so it was a seven hour flight from nigeria to qatar and then about an hour flight from qatar to riyadh which is where our, that's our final destination so at this point we had arrived qatar and the time difference between the time difference between Qatar and Nigerians and Nigeria's time is two hours. That's Qatar is two hours ahead of Nigeria. Likewise, Saudi Arabia. So as soon as we stepped our feet into that airport and crossed one door like that, immediately the time zone changed from our Nigerian time to the Qatar time. I noticed it. Uh, I, I was intentional about checking. I, was, I kept checking until it happened. You guys should pose. Yeah. Oh, that's not me. No. Ah. Oh, okay. So, 
so this is um like the flight information board here you go you go here to check your flight details so you check your flight number destination so that you know the actual time and where to wait fyi qatar's airport is very very big because we trekked for almost one hour before we could get to um the place we were to take our flights like it's very fair we had to use this i don't know what it's called but it's like um, it's not an escalator or something but if you're in need instead of trekking like it just carries you to the place it's actually slower than trekking but if your legs hot and don't feel like trekking again you can just stand on it so it was basically what helped us in our waka but the points where we dropped and um, cleared with immigration and this place was pretty far it was really really far so we trekked our this thing was a8 i think our waiting lounge was a8 so we had to walk all the way past a1 a2 a3 it was it was a lot and finally we got to a8 and um we had to sit for a while before our flight time i think we had about four hours wait time before the connecting flight and thank god for that because due to the distance if we had if we had less than that or maybe had like one hour wait time hmm, more, the person might even end up missing their flight so the long time was necessary <laughs> So at this point we had fully waited for our time and it was now time to board our connecting flight. So this is me walking to the flight. So we boarded at this point I was very, very exhausted, like very exhausted. So I could even barely film. I, I just had to use every discipline in me to film. So yeah, so this is the f connecting flight from Qatar to Riyadh so we put a it's just a, like a one hour flight so i slept all through the flight i didn't even could even stay awake so as soon as we got to Riyadh and met up with our family we went home and had to start unpacking because we had some perishables that we couldn't risk waiting till we're done sleeping after unpacking we went to bed thought you even brought that for me bruh <laughs> It's Zara O'Clock. Okay. Over. Hmm? She can, I can be using your kitchen to look up. Zara, Zara, Zara. That day, we had an event to attend. One of our family friends had retired here in Saudi Arabia and was going back to her home country. So, a same fourth party was organized for her and we had to turn up. <laughs> it was really a beautiful event and I was really amazed and impressed and motivated by the level of impact she made to people from different nationalities different cadres, different spheres of life like really because at the end of the day that's what life really is about impact so this is the part where i was trying to figure out what to wear the the top i was wearing earlier on I didn't feel like it was what I wanted to wear because my f I felt like my face was really dull. Like this whole trip stressed me out and I was going through some emotional stuff at the time. So my face was not really bright enough. So I just wanted to like, you know, wear something more bright. And that was why I had to switch to the red top and it made more sense. So I paired it with a denim trouser and a leather jacket. Yeah. I didn't feel my outfit when we were coming. Like... I wasn't giving what I wanted to give. You can't do it. You know, not toilet. Okay. So I got ready a mask. When you want something, what's your magic word? Please, please, please. Hi, everyone. Jesus Christ. You can get me. Hi. Well, we are going out now. It rained, so.
I'm going to read what uh, Zalina my sister sent uh, an open coach. I couldn't be happier about your final return home. Home has been warm enough without you for all those years. We are excited and happy to finally have you back home. in itself and in its time but he's left us in the dark so we can never know what god is up to whether he's coming or going i've decided that there's nothing better to do than go ahead and have a good time and get the most we can out of life that's it eat drink and make the most of your job it's god's gift i've also concluded that whatever god does that's the way it's going to be always no addition no subtraction god's done it and that's it